Hello everyone, this is Diane. I'm about to start on my next journal project and it is going to be these two ledger books. They're just the covers. Standard blank book. Um, they're pretty big. They're seven, about eight inches wide here and ten and a half. So they're big books. They're both the same. This book is just slightly taller. Um, so I'm, I've been thinking all weekend, it's been, I've been mulling over it all weekend on how I'm going to uh, do these books. And I thought that I would like to do it a, a little bit differently. I had done some ledger books previously, about a year ago, I guess. And I did a lot of numbers, of course, and things like that. And I still want to use a lot of numbers. I love the look of numbers. But I want to make them also feminine, so I'm going to be using flowers and lace with them. And I found the perfect digital kit. They're small. I mean, this this would make a regular size journal, but look how big they, how small they are on these covers. But they're going to be pages, just little pages within. So they are from. Um, Nostalgia Graphic Land, I believe. I will link it below. But they're ledger with tattered edges, but there's lace on them. And they're just beautiful. So these are my inspiration. And then I chose some floral papers cardstock papers and added a, a cutoff piece. I went through my cutoffs and found some pieces that would go well with the papers that I picked. And I just sewed them, cut them to the right height and then sewed them to the edge and then um, cut them to the right width and folded them in half so that we do have some pages that will fill the book up. So I have those ready. I also pulled some pages that were already coffee dyed and again I have to make them big enough, wide enough. So I'm going to take some more scraps, cut off pieces, and do the same thing that I did with the cardstock pieces. So that's the plan so far. I went through my digital folders in my um, on my laptop and found tags and things that I had already purchased, and I printed some. So anything that had to do with ledgers and numbers, I printed these because they're nice and tall, so they'll be great in these tall journals. Pretty sure these are from Ephemeris Vintage Garden. There were two on one page plus uh, other miscellaneous items on the page. So I have those. And uh, these are from Old Design Shop. So there's some really cool little tags in these in this set from Old Design Shop with the numbers. And they're little. They're little things for a big book like this. And then these are a different set from Old Design Shop. Just some fun tags. And then I found these. I think these are also Nostalgia Graphic Land. I've had these in I've had these for a while, but I printed them. So a grid file folder type of card with roses on it. So these are shabby chic um, ledger journals. That's what that's what my theme is. Shabby chic ledger. And these are perfect, these cards. And then these other cards that match the theme, just journal cards. They're just so pretty. And even some small ones. And I'm not sure what these are from. These might be um, antique papery, but I'm not sure. But again, they're little, they're ledgers with shabby chic designs. So I've got all of these. 
And then I took my label stamps and I found some antique or some vintage book pages that had numbers, math and engineering and stuff, and stamped my label stamps on those and then cut them out. So I have those to use. I did not prep anything for today's video besides just showing you what I have already. But I did grab some ledger pages from my vintage ledger stash and these pretty pink papers that um, my friend Pirio sent me in a happy mail. And I think I am going to work on making some ephemera. I'm going to go get some pieces of file folder. I'm sure I have cut up pieces of file folder I can use. Well, I don't know where the cut-up pieces are, but I have a file folder. This, this one's torn. Yeah, I can use these. Gee, some of these are coffee dyed, so that's great. Boy, I forgot I had coffee dyed file folder pieces. That's awesome! Yeah, there are some pieces there that are complete folders. So that's what we'll use. Oh, I also pulled this. I've had this for a long time. I hoarded it. It's DCWV and it's ledger pages, but it also has decorations on it. So I might use this somehow. And this paper pad from Seven Gypsies, which is double sided cardstock, paper, different types of ledger. Some other ledger pages that I had in my scrapbook paper stash. So I've got plenty to work with. So I've got, I'm going to work on these file folders and I'm going to get some stamps out. Let's see what stamp sets I want to use. That ought to do us for a start, right? <laughs> okay, let's just start with what we have here. Got some black and brown ink here. And I can make pretty big big pieces because the journals are big. So let's just start by cutting a piece to a size that will work in those journals. I'm going to cut this five, counting the tab. Oh, I left my good scissors in the other room. I was cutting up those uh, digital tags and cards and things. <coughs> hmm, let's see, five by six. There's a couple. I could leave that edge torn. This is 11 and three quarters, so I'm just going to cut one at six inches. The other one can be a little shorter. I will do another page to 
so we have some stuff to work with. So I don't know if I'm going to trim off the rough edge on those or not, but I can leave them there for now. Look at the pattern on that. I think I sprinkled salt on this when it was wet with the coffee. pieces here. So I want to make sure that I make them not just uh, office -y or number themed, but also shabby chic. Wallpaper. This is cool. This was a wrapping paper that has embossed diamond pattern on it. Also embossed wrapping paper, tissue paper, doily, just a little scrap of a patchwork patterned paper. I think my problem with this will be to limit myself. <laughs> These number or letters are cool. busy stamping. I'm going to start with this lady stamp. towel fuzz or baby wipe fuzz on her. Numbers. There's lots of numbers in this set. This is a Tim Holtz Field Notes. Pull it close to me, then I'm moving it further, too far away from the camera. It's a little piece of wallpaper here. So I said that I love numbers, and I do. I love to use numbers in my collages and on my pages. Just random numbers, but I am a word person. I don't work well with numbers. I don't remember numbers. 
I have a hard time remembering phone numbers and even sometimes my social security number escapes me. If I can't get the first set of three numbers, forget it. <laughs> they all they all go together. If I get the first set of three, I'm okay. But I mean, I'm I remember it most of the time, but numbers are not my thing. I did well in school. I got good grades in all of my subjects including geometry, trigonometry, and all that, but once school was done, uh, I didn't care about it, and so I, I don't remember stuff. But I am a word person. I know how to spell, and I know the difference between all those words that sound, of, sound alike and get used interchangeably. I know the correct your to use in every situation. You know, I'm a word person, but I love the way numbers look. I'm going to use some of these letters. This was from a book about using a fountain pen or um, the pen and nib type of pen. I think I'm going to stamp this in a very light color. Let's see what Sahara sand looks like. I can't remember if that's... The, the lid shows it... Well, I covered the lid. shows it looking light, but it might be a deceptive one. That's light enough. I think that's good and I can round the corners and ink the edges and we'll have our first journaling card for these journals besides the ones that I printed. So some of these can be journaling cards and some can be top packets or tuck spots. I'm just going to decorate a bunch and then figure out what to do with them later. I've got my little rolling stand right here beside behind me with my glue so I'm going to use my glue stick over here to 
cut down on clutter on my desk. Oops. Up a little high. That's a mulberry paper, but it has some white spots in it. I just had a little snippet of that. A little scrap of doily. I love using these little snippets of doilies. Some wallpaper. And my letter A. It's not scarlet though. And I think that is enough stuff on this. So let's move on to the next card. What will be my focal point here? use some of my fussy cut flowers. Wrong book. Most of these are digital. Some are Tim Holtz. This one came out of a children's book. So these larger ones, the digital ones, are from Tsunami Rose. So this is from On the Farm, the Tim Holtz stamp set On the Farm, and it's got this ledger piece with it. I'm going to stamp that in the background and then add the rose. Very good.
This is a piece of shabby torn paper and I just need to use it somewhere because I love it. So I think I'm going to put that right there. And I'm going to tear. I'm going to tear some of this. Oh, that's black. I grabbed my black ink. I think that will be all I do on this one. Just add those two pieces with the stamping on it and we're done. stick. Where is the big blue stick? It's not here. Oh, it's over here on my tray. I tidied my room up at the end of the week, last week when I finished my project and cleaned and vacuumed and it looks so good and I just I didn't start the next project for a day or two and it was just so nice to have a clean and tidy craft room but the purpose of having a clean and tidy craft room is so you can get back in it and mess it up again right so that's what I'm doing there's another journal card going to add some of these fragments. That's what this is called, fragments. Again, Tim Holtz. I love these. I can see that I'm going to be using these a lot. And I think I will use a blue, pretty blue. Let's try that out. size of ink of um, paper stamp block here it is it's got my lady on it first I'm gonna stamp this color on something else to make sure it's the color I want uh, I think I want more of a turquoise Let's try Lost Lagoon. Oh, that's more green. But that's pretty. Okay, 
let's try another one. Well, I got one called Tempting Turquoise. That's the color I think I want. I'm glad that it left that spot there because I do want it to look patchy. It, I want it to look like peeling wallpaper. And because the file folder is copy dyed, it, it's warped a little bit, so the stamp doesn't make really great um, contact. So that helps with that effect. ink around the edge. If I decide to use these as a journal card and not a pocket or a tuck spot, I can ink the other side, but I'm not going to waste time doing that if it's just going to be a tuck spot. I cut out a bunch of numbers yesterday with my big shot, and I like to save the negatives. To use, so I'm going to audition some of these on this and see if I like them. This is a set of numbers that's all connected and you're supposed to take them apart and use them individually, but I leave them connected because that's the easiest way. But the 8 came off almost right away, and yesterday the 0 came off, so I have to put them, you know, just kind of line them up with the rest. So it'll just be a matter of time before all the numbers come off. The more I use it, the more numbers will come off. Maybe I'll just use one row. Pretty little pansy. I got a clip-on light just at Walmart. I hope it's... It helps me see without casting shadows, but I hope that it makes the video better lighting-wise. So I have it clipped on the shelves above me.
white. I like that. Got to get rid of the white edges here. This came out of a book. this. Do I want to cut it or tear it? Apparently I want to tear it. This is a scrap of Prima Ledger cardstock. I'll put some of this around the edges along with the blue. I always like the way that looks. I think there's one more thing I want to do, and that is take some script and stamp it in the background. I guess I'll just use this. It came with the farm, and it's it would be from a ledger, the top of a ledger. And this is the peeling wallpaper in the farmhouse. very light. It's not intrusive at all. Just kind of provides some background. I think that adds just what it needed. I'm going to use glue instead of a glue stick for these because these are heavier pieces. Is it like in your part of the country or part of the world? Here in the northeast of the United States, it's hot. But I'm sure it's not as hot as in other places of the United States. I just, I just don't like hot. I'm going to move this over a little bit.
and then I tore the ledger paper underneath it. There. I like that card. That's three in 40 minutes. Well, I did some other talking too before we started. Let's do another one with a tab. Gotta have two with the pretty lady, one for each journal. So let's do another one with the lady. better. What? Not very dark. Let's do it again on that side. This one will be a pocket. stand up and press it down good. Oh, much better. Much better. All right. Now, do we want to just collage like we did on the other one? I think we might as well. Just randomness. Got some more, just another little tiny piece of that pink mulberry paper. Got some stamped script here. Okay, let's ink this and then we can start gluing.
I use a glue stick on this mulberry paper. And on the doily piece. I feel like it needs something else. The other one had a piece of pretty scrapbook paper to add a little color. This one needs a little something. Got this tiny little rose. I can get it out. This is an ephemera piece from something. It's not Tim Holtz. I want something up there, but that wouldn't look right up there. If I could find a butterfly in the right colors, that might be good up there. this is where it needs something. I might just use that. Wait, here's a butterfly that might work. colors on that. B for butterfly, right? I don't know. still feel like it needs something. Two butterflies? might be what it needs. That's what we're going to go with. Okay, so we did four. We're going to have to stop the camera, but we got four done. So there's two with the ladies. And we have this one. I love that fragment. And that one. 
I'll keep going without the camera because I need to make a few more. And I'll be back again with something else for these ledger journals. And I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed these journal cards. And I hope they inspire you to get out your stamps and collage pieces and old file folders and get creative. Thank you for watching. Have a creative day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.